time for garden prep. Looks like soil temperature will stay high enough uh, with no frost. So step one, bring down the compost. Uh, this is compost from our pile up by the horse barn. It is a product of uh, spent brewer's grain and all the different manures from everything down here, chicken litter and, and cow and everything else. Uh, so it makes a real nice, rich soil. Um, and it's great for uh, for growing things. Um, so I bring down a couple yards of this every year and top off the whole garden with it. So I'll, I'll uh, come down with the skid steer next, spread it all around, and then next go in with the tractor and till it all under. And then we'll start covering with our um, our weed fabric and plant from there. So here we go. All right, we got our fresh compost in the uh, garden now. Nice pile of it there. Just we'll spread that out with the skid steer just to evenly disperse it throughout the garden. Um, and then uh, next step would be to fire up the little Kubota and till this all into the soil. So here we go. compost pretty evenly spread throughout the garden now um, and now we'll bring in the tiller and start to, to till it in I will say that moisture does play a factor when you're tilling and I'd say that this is probably a little too wet to be tilling uh, but everything's a balance and you know there's supposed to be rain in the future like how do, how long do you really hold off and delay your growing season uh, for the sake of getting the perfect till so I think what will end up happening with this, it'll be a little clumpy uh, and I may have to um, till it once more on a drier day, but this will at least get everything mixed together really well and hopefully it, it'll be okay just uh, tilling it today in the wetter conditions. If not, I'll have to wait and um, till it when it gets a little bit drier as well just to kind of break up all those pumps that might occur. Like I said, I think we're right on the border here. I think we're actually going to be okay, but there's a chance it could be a little clumpy. So we'll fire up the tiller and, and get her all mixed up.
All right, so we got three passes on this now. I'll take a look, uh, I can kind of show you what I mean when I say too wet or too dry. This area right here is just right. You can see the soil nice and loose, no real big clumps in it. It's well mixed. Um, it does uh, hold together a little bit when you when you um, squeeze it, but easily breaks back apart. So it's not doesn't have a lot of clay in it. This is kind of the perfect uh, moisture level for for tilling. And then if we go up here, this area was a little wet, so you can see what happens when the area is too wet. You end up with clumps of soil like this. And so if you have clumps like this and they're all getting thrown around, they're really not mixing, right? The clumps are just kind of you know, falling around inside the tiller and the inside of these is not getting broken up and um, and mixed in with everything else. So got a few points points in here that are a little bit clumpy. It's not horrible. I mean, if I guess if I have time and I might come back in and do one more pass, um, maybe tomorrow before we put down the weed fabric, but that's, um, oh, camera going crazy. That's what it looks like when it's all done. All tilled in all mixed in, that nice compost is in there. That stuff's real rich. And uh, we're gonna have a great growing season. I did get everything started early this year. So it's currently in one gallon containers. And I've even got peppers growing on some of them and, and the zucchini's all flowering. It's, we're gonna get a good head start this year instead of planting these little tiny seedlings. Uh, we're gonna get started with some uh, month and a half old um, material. So that's gonna be good. All right, so that's uh, prepping the garden.